The fourth question says passing through 2 comma 2 root 3 and inclined with x axis at an angle of 75 degree. Now inclined at an angle of 75 degree with the x axis you are given slope but you are not given the slope directly. You are given inclination on the basis of which you can find the slope right and you already have a point over here. Let us say this is point 2 comma 2 root 3. Now this diagram is not to scale mind you 2 comma 2 root 3. X axis will be somewhere, somewhere here for that matter right x axis will be somewhere here. This is the x axis let us suppose okay and inclined with x axis at an angle of 75 degree this angle is 75 degree it is given right inclined right that is what you have. So m the slope will be equal to if this is the slope m that will be equal to tan 75 degree. And what is the value of tan 75 degree? You should be aware of that. Tan 75 degree is actually 2 plus root 3. This can also be written as, this, can, this could also be written as root 3 plus 1 upon root 3 minus 1. If you remember this version, well and good. If you remember this version, it is also good. Right? This can be rationalized to give you this. Right. The rationalizing the denominator will actually convert this into this particular form. Right. That is what you can do. But this is something which you should remember. Okay. In case you do not remember, so what can, how can you find tan 75 degree? Now tan 75 degree can be found with the help of by writing it as tan 45 degree plus 30 degree as well. This is how you can find this. And you know tan 45 degree, you know tan 30 degree. You can easily find this. This is tan of A plus B which is tan A plus tan B upon 1 minus tan A tan B. Right. Using that, you can find tan 75 degree easily. This is the value of tan 75 degree. What else? You have found the slope, you are given a point, so you can apply the point slope form, therefore equation. Y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 is the form. So where does, where does that take us? This becomes y minus y1 is 2 root 3 is equal to slope which is 2 plus root 3 times x minus x1 which is x minus 2. This is what you get. This is what you get, right? Let us simplify this further. y minus 2 root 3 is equal to 2 plus root 3 times x minus 4 minus 2 root 3. You observe minus 2 root 3 will get cancelled from both of these sides and you get y is equal to 2 plus root 3 times x minus 4. You can bring this y also over here. This is the final answer for this question, right? That is the final answer for this question fourth over here.